Hey, what's going on guys? Sharif here, Natural Bodybuilder. And in this video, I cover a super important question. How long should we rest in between sets? Should we take longer rest period where we can lift a bit heavier? Should we go right away after we catch our breath? How long is the ideal rep range? All right, now let's start first by addressing something. What is your goal? If your goal is strength and you want to lift heavy weights, well, obviously the more rest you take, the more it's going to help you get back kind of that strength and lift a little bit heavier. So power lifters would typically take a longer rest period of around three, sometimes five. Sometimes I've seen guys taking up to 10 minutes of rest before a huge PR. Now, what has worked best for me? And I've seen Jay Cutler talk about this years ago. I started incorporating it and trust me, I've seen my body go to another level is taking 60 to 90 second max rest in between sets and hear me out. That's not it. When I train, my style of training is so different. So instead of taking a lot of rest period and I would do one set rest, do another set rest, the way that I train right now is not only I take shorter rest period, but I would incorporate a lot of supersets and giant sets. And for bodybuilding, for building muscle mass, I really believe that this is what we should do. All right, think about it. The goal is getting inside that muscle, getting it to failure, and kind of achieving it as fast as possible, getting in, getting out without overstressing your body and without wasting times and hours in the gym. You want to keep it efficient but short, all right? There's a proverb that say, hit the metal while it's hot. And it's the same thing that we're doing for bodybuilding when your goal is building muscle mass. All right, you don't want to rest and then hit it again and then take time to recover and then do another set and go heavy. But rather, let's say I'm doing shoulders. Well, you start with shoulder presses right away after without resting. You go with side raises right away after. You go with reverse, reverse raises for your rear delt. Right away after, you can even do dips or you can do bent pull apart or whatever it is. Trust me, your shoulders will be on fire. That's the way that I started training that changed completely uh, my view on things and my approach for building muscle mass for my chest. This is one huge giant set that I will do for my chest. I will start with a bench press right away after, pec deck fly and right away after push-ups to failure. Then 60 to 90 seconds rest and I'm back on the bench press. I'm barely resting. I'm just taking enough time to rest to catch my breath again, but my muscles are already fatigued when I'm back on the set. I rest 60 to 90 seconds, drink a sip of water, get my heart rate down again, because that's what matters, getting the heart rate back to where it should be. You don't want to be out of breath. But right away after, my, my, my chest is already fatigued from the previous set and I'm doing my next set right now. And trust me, training this way, you'll just get all your muscle fibers to failure. You'll keep hitting it, hitting it while it's warm, while there's blood, you keep going and you do supersets, giant sets. You take 60, 90 second sets, uh, uh, seconds of rest whenever you need to, but we don't need to take three minutes of rest and cooling down just to lift 10 pounds more on our bench. Our goal is not lifting heavy weights. Weight is just a tool to help you reach a desired outcome, all right? Weight is just the tool to help you put tension on your muscles. Stop focusing on the weight. Stop focusing on the weight you have on the bench press, but rather use the weight smartly. Make the easy way hard, all right? Slow down, slow down. Make sure you're contracting, you're squeezing. Slow down the tempo. Get inside that muscle, the mind-muscle connection. That's what will help you build muscle mass. If your goal is hypertrophy, train like a bodybuilder, lower your rest time, 60 to 90 second mass, and do more supersets, drop sets, giant sets. So this is called sets intensifiers. So it could be drop sets, uh, drop set, which means let's say I have a 100 pounds on the bench press, I, I do my eight reps, I drop 20 pounds each side, I do another eight reps, I drop another 20 pounds, I do another eight reps, no rest. It could be cluster sets, cluster sets, I really love that one. I have, let's say 200 pounds on the bench press, I do five reps, I put it back, five to 10 seconds, breathe, rest for five to 10 seconds and then do another three, four reps. So this will allow you to get more reps done in the same sets. Yes, you did take five to 10 seconds, breathe a bit, get some oxygen in the muscle, but you still were able to do more reps. Uh, we have supersets. So I do the bench press right away after I move on to doing chest flies. That's a superset, giant sets. After the pec flies, I'm doing push-ups. And this way of training, all right, it's not, a lot of people would hear circuit, they'll think that we're running and jumping and doing Zumba and dancing and doing jumping jacks. No, we're doing circuit training, but in a smart way to really 
get that muscle to failure that's the goal you want to really get into those muscle fibers after my chest i recruited maybe after the bench press 30 uh, percent of my muscle fiber then i go on the pec deck fly i bring that to 50 percent of my muscle fibers being recruited then i go on the push-ups to failure 80 percent of my chest muscle fibers are now fatigued all right i wait a bit catch my breath and do it all over again as opposed to i'm on the bench press okay i did my 12 reps i put it back go on my instagram scroll for three minutes okay let me add 25 each side 12 reps put it back your muscle is just cooling down you're resting your muscle you're hitting it again it's not the ideal way if your goal is strength you can do it if your goal is building muscle mass trust me since i started training like that people see me at the gym i'm barely having a plate on the bench but I'm screaming because I'm doing circuits. I'm finishing my bench, dropping on the floor, push-ups, or I'm doing back. I'll do pull-ups right away after, pull down right away after, pull over with the cable. My lats are burning. Rest a bit, drink some water, and get back to it. The blood is there. The blood is rushing. Don't lose that pump. All right, don't lose that pump. A lot of people lose the pump. Yes, that was the word I was looking for. So that's it for this video, guys. Shorter rest period, the better if your goal is building muscle mass. And for sure, I'm not saying use five pounds and just do a lot of reps. No, you gotta use moderate weight, but still don't rest too much and your body will get used to it. Your body will adapt. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Leave a like, comment, share. I wanna write, I wanna see you comment. All right, watching this video, write down what you think, whether you like it, you don't like it, like this video or dislike it. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.